Okay. When we look at this, we're looking at assets being current and non-current. Everyone remembers current and non-current assets? Mm -hmm. Current and non-current liabilities? What's the difference? Within 12 months or... Yeah, yeah. current being 12 months or less, non-current being more than 12 months. All right. Now you can see there's a numbering system here. Now in my experience, the numbering systems all work the same. Assets are in the 100s, liabilities are in the 200s, equity is in the 300s, income is in the 400s, and expenses is in the 500s. Now in general, every chart of accounts works the same way. Now, it might be that the, the assets might be 1,000s and the liabilities are 2,000s, equity is 3,000s, but generally the numbering system works the same way. And for your assignment, you're going to have to build a chart of accounts. So okay? Chart of accounts is just a number of accounts. Well, it is, yeah. This is uh, to help identify all the accounts that are in a business's ledger, uh, in their general ledger. So what we look to do is... We look to number our accounts, and you can see that they're not actually sequential. Like we go 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, we might have advertising supplies and uh, maybe, let's say, advertising products that we could put in there later. Or we might have prepaid insurance as 112, prepaid electricity, prepaid something else, which could be 112, 113, 140. Okay. But when we look at our, like our non-current assets, we've got 130, 131, where we've got office equipment, then the accumulated depreciation for office equipment. So when we create, if we were to create a motor vehicle account, for example, it might be 140, 141. So that any other items that we built into office equipment could fall under that 130 range. Uh, and the same when we look over to our uh, liabilities, it's broken into current and non-current. So it looks like the non-current start at about 230 and the current start around the 200 mark. Right. And the same with our uh, revenue. So we've got 400 range for all our incomes and the 500 range for our expenses. So you'll be asked in your assignment to build a chart of accounts and your numbering system is where you get your marks. So don't go to sort of give me a uh, motor vehicle 141 and then accumulated depreciation for motor vehicle 161. So because there's a reason why you do this 